Man, it feels great out here. 58 degrees. Nice in the shade. See how this audio works on this camera. Let's see how bad my angle is in a minute. And then we can adjust and go from there as we pedal up this giant hill. But it sure is fun coming down, so it's worth it. What is this mucky crap? They're gonna make noise for a minute. Until they get clean. Ah, oh, it's all over my legs. Good morning to me. Oh, water crossing, clean the tires a little bit. Oh great, now I'm wet. Yeah, buddy. But at least my brakes are quiet. Er. Man, I did not think I was going to get this dirty already. And up. And up. And up we go. Still climbing this mountain. This is the easy part. Sorry you gotta hear me breathe. Morning. Yeah. There are a ton of Asian people on this trail today. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. Let's go. I think I'm almost to the juncture at Mustard. That's where it gets really fun. As it basically just climbs for like a mile. We made it to the bottom of mustard. That was a good little haul up this trail. <clears throat> Borrego Canyon. Yeah, easy. If you're going down, not so hot coming up. Now we're going to mustard. It's considered a difficult trail. We're going to go off that direction. And we're going to climb and climb and climb and climb to four corners. And once we're here, that's where it's fun. As we get to come down Whiting Road and then Serrano Cow and Serrano Road to Wahoo's. Yeah. So here begins 
the least fun part of this loop. It is a very steep climb that you'll be able to see on the GPS data as an elevation climb. So without further ado, we'll see you at the top. Apparently there's a beehive next to the trail out here. Let's see if we can find it. I don't see it. I think they're lying to me. Oh. Well. Oh, if you could tell. This is virtually what it's like for a mile. You're in your tallest gear. We locked out with your seat as high as you can go, leaning up front and just trying to make it to the top without passing out. I just gotta keep remembering the ride back down is worth every stroke of the way up. See? It just keeps going. It is lush and green out here this time of year. Mustard had a pretty serious descent angle, but up there on the left is four corners. And it has a spectacular view. Unless you're willing to manpower yourself out here, you'll never get to see it. No e-bikes, that's cheating. And now we start our trip for what we came for, the downhill section. Let's probably unlock my suspension before I go down. And lower my seat. This gets pretty fast, pretty quick. This is a trail, I believe called Whiting Road. And I used to ride this a long time ago when I was a kid on a BMX bike. But now I'm on a mountain bike, it feels like my dirt bike. And it is such a much more enjoyable experience. view, man. I want to do this every day. Maybe not the uphill part. Ooh. Just get some speed. Hear that? It's so weird. I wonder if I over. 
diesel. Wait to see what the speed was that you guys saw me hit. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh. All that mountain climb for basically that. Worth every second. So squirrel. Man, my legs are feeling it right now. I get wobbly like a baby deer. It's because I'm out of shape. Off the roof. Boop. Oh, that was fun. Oh, up the big hill. I'd love to figure out how to shuttle this. Whew. That's going to be a lot of fun if you didn't have to climb up. And you could use your energy to go down. I feel like I can stay up on this. Oh, beat. Road and Serrano Cow Trails coming from Four Corners back down to Wahoos in Foothill Ranch. Man, it's a fun ride. If you could do the uphill, it makes the downhill worth every bit. hikers out today. Pretty impressed for a Wednesday. Apparently I'm not the only one outside of joining nature. Instead of being stuck at work. Uh, I'd rather 
really looking forward to going to check it out in Santa's Village in April. First time being at a bike park. I'm really looking forward to uh, the new experience with the newfound confidence on my new bike. I feel like I'll be able to progress fairly quickly due to my motorcycle background, but we'll have to see on April 18th if I can put up or if I gotta shut up. I think I go this way. Man, it's fun not having any idea where you're going, but just send it, right? I feel like Wahoo is really close. I just can't see it because of all the trees. the end of it. I'm gonna pop up on the road right here. Oh I finished commuting back to my car. I don't know what I did coming down that hill but the hell side of my right hand is really sore for some reason. I don't know what I did. Either it was the tree or the rocks. The root section was super smooth. But sorry, tomorrow's Thursday. On Sunday, when I go play ice hockey, I play hockey next Thursday. And my hands will feel better by then. So Whiting Ranch Loop is pretty awesome. So Whiting Ranch Loop, it's about 1,300 feet of elevation climb, if I recall. Uh, it's good, probably six, it's a six and a half mile ride. I guess I'll find out more here in a few minutes when I look at the video feed. The downhill is awesome. You can push it, I mean, at least as hard as I can right now and have an absolute blast. But look forward to coming back and riding it again.